Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Raytac, and I am back with part 3 for Richard and Alice. I think, I think, I'm not sure, I think I have this figured out. I just have to, yeah, I never actually examined this box before. So, I think this might be what I was missing. It's a keepsake box I found in the toy chest. Don't think it's locked. Let's see what's inside. A couple of things in here. Folded drawing, tucked away. Yep, this is what I was missing because there's a key ring. Wonder why they've hidden them so well. Because I actually had to go outside, get the key from a shed, which was jammed shut. Come back inside. To, do, to come inside, I had to shoot the lock off. Child's drawing. Oh, hello. Um, there's, there's a, there's somebody in the house. Oh, this, this game is not making me feel good. This game is not making me feel good. Oh, it's an amazing game. Just not making me feel good. Surely one of these has to fit. There we go. Hey, Barney. Are you coming up to visit me, buddy? No, Barney. You go play over there for a minute. Yeah, there's somebody in here. I want to see, Mommy. You can have a look in a minute. I just want to check it out first. But what if there's treasure? If there's treasure, sh sweetheart, I promise you'll be the first to know. Well, okay. Sorry, get away. If some madman charges out at me, I don't want you right in the way. Well, here goes. Oh, oh God! What happened here? What is it, Mummy? What is it? J just a second, sweetheart. You stay there. Wooden plank. Oh my God! It looks like a perfect size to fit through the door handles. Not ideal, but it'll work as a barricade for now. Nothing else of use in here. I'll shut this door for now so Barney doesn't see. Ooh, okay. Mummy, is there treasure? I'm afraid not, Barney. It's just a bathroom. I need a wee. You'll just have to wait a while, I'm afraid. Sweetheart, it's a bit filthy in there. I'll clean it up for you once we get settled. Really no treasure? Really, really. Promise. Alright, so let's barricade up the front door. Let's get this front door barricaded up. Not gonna be as good as the padlock I shot off, but you know what? There we go. Pretty tight fit. At least if someone tries to force their way in, we'll have fair warning. All right, Barney's coming over to visit me. The door looks silly now. It does, doesn't it? It's like a castle. This is our castle now, Barney. Oh, castles are scary. They are a bit, yes. Right, let's see if we can make up a bed. Your yawning's making me sleepy, too. Can we have some dinner? Sure. How does sweet corn sound? Sounds great, mummy. Good boy. How about we eat it in bed? Like a midnight feast? Just like that, Barney. Alright, so... I don't know why I didn't think to look... Oh, saying on. Mummy? Yes, sweetheart? What's up the stairs? I don't know, honey. Maybe tomorrow we can try and find out. Mummy? Yeah? It's warm in here, isn't it? My fingers aren't tingly anymore. That's good, baby. You did well this morning. You're very brave. Mummy? <laughs> what is it? Yes, Barney? I love you, Mummy. I love you too, Barney. Let's try and get some sleep now. It's been a tiring day. Okay. Well, I think that's the end of this section. Five days since Alice's arrival. So that first that that first story was the same day. Second story was the second day. Now it's five days since then. There's also something that happened. The cold water. <laughs> no, you're right. It is silly now that I think about it. This is Richard. We haven't seen him in a while. Totally. I could sharpen the end of this brush right now and use it as a weapon. Should I be scared? Well, that depends. How much do you trust me? I think I trust you a fair amount. Plus, you don't have anything to sharpen with. Hmm, that's true. I guess we'll have to wait until they provide ourselves with pro provide us with our own do-it-yourself equipment or home surgery kits. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know I'm actually quite looking forward to doing some cleaning in a way. 
a normal activity for once. You know what? Me too. And I hate cleaning. Always used to put it off. In a while though, right? Yeah, definitely not this right, right this minute. <laughs> it's nice to smile and laugh a bit, you know. Yeah, yeah it is. You're right. Hey, you know what? What? I was about to ask you if you fancy doing anything today. Huh? I have no idea. My mind lapsed for a minute, I suppose. It happens. But no, I don't think we'll manage to go out for a day trip or anything like that. That's okay. Letting me down gently, eh? Well, it's the best get out I've ever been able to use. I'll tell you that much. So are you doing anything tonight? Why, yes, actually. I'm going to spend my evening locked up in prison. Sorry! <laughs> it beats, I'm washing my hair. Yeah. Which reminds me, they never did fix the hot water. No, they didn't. Maybe we can do it in IOU or do something when we get out. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. If we get out. I have to admit, Alice, I do find you quite fascinating. Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, you're the only person I've seen in who knows how long. Sorry, that sounded a bit weird. But yeah, take it as a compliment. I will. Thanks. I think. But, um, how do you mean? I don't know, I've gotten, I get the impression of someone who's lived an interesting life, even before the snowfall. What gives you that impression? I'm not sure. Maybe about the fact that you were telling the story about you and Barney and you mentioned that you and your husband had gone on some kind of a trip? Had gone on a trip somewhere? Childhood. I suppose I often wonder about people's younger years. The events and situations that make you who you are. Go on then, you first. Oh, there's not much to tell for me. I had a pretty average upbringing. Is there an average upbringing, really? I think so. Both my parents were around. I wasn't really bullied, bullied at any point. I suppose I was quite a shy child. So what turns you into the hardened army man that stands before me today? <laughs> I don't know, really. I suppose I was bored. My confidence grew. I wanted to do more things, see more sights. It sounds silly, but I guess it seemed like a natural option eventually. Hmm, fair enough. Hmm? No, no, nothing. Just thinking. Go on, then. How about you? My childhood or my chosen career? Childhood. Well, both. I don't think I even know what your career is. Or was. Or, uh... It's okay. Didn't really have one, if I'm honest. I had Barney when I was young. I was a student. It definitely wasn't planned. Fortunately, we managed to get by. For a time, anyway. Barney's dad, uh... He had a bit of money. My childhood, though? It was okay. You sound unsure. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. Still trying to figure myself out, to be honest. I wasn't exactly the most popular girl in school. Then again, I was okay with that. I've always quite liked being the outsider. I get that impression too, over the last few days. Really? In what way? I don't know, just something about you, I suppose. You have some very interesting feelings about this woman. She's the only interaction that my character has had in I don't know how long. I don't actually know if he sees anyone. Maybe he does when they bring the food. Maybe they make sure to bring the food when he's asleep. They're asleep. I don't know. But this woman is the only one that I know I've talked to. I know that I've talked to in the last five days or so. In the last six days. since he, It's five days since she arrived. So there's the day she arrived and then five days after that. Or it could just be five days total. Um, but you, you get the feeling that she had an interesting life, and now you get the feeling she's an outsider. What conversations were you two having? Fair enough. And I guess the other thing, that I was quite a sickly child. That's no good. No, it's not nice to be in and out of hospital during the years you're supposed to be learning about becoming a real human being. Playing out with friends, discovering your sexuality, whatever. All those things kind of took a backseat for me until I was a little bit older. Do you mind my asking what was wrong with you? They never did work it out. They thought it was something psychological. 
an anxiety problem or something. I can't say I've ever been convinced by the diagnosis. At school, I used to feel ill every day, like I was going to pass out or something, and no one could work out what was going on. No one could make me better. Must have been difficult to deal with at that age. Yeah, it was. I remember... I remember just not wanting to be around if no one could fix me. Ouch. Oh, sorry, that's a bit heavy. No, no, don't worry about it. I'm sorry for prying. That was my tummy. Okay, then. Sure. That was my tummy. I, I believe you. It, 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 have you eaten? Yes. Sounds like your stomach's not happy with what you've eaten. You might want to put some more in it. Sorry, that's my girlfriend over there. She's working on her computer, and her stomach just gave a weird, funky growl. <sighs> Alright, so, yeah. I'm kind of used to that by now. Yeah, you're kind of used to him prying. Jesus. Richard won't stop asking questions. I, um... Oh, that was actually a yawn. Jeez. Joking, Richard. You really need to get better at knowing when I'm joking with you. It's nice of you to take an interest, really. Alice, how are you feeling, anyway? I'm fine, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I think the medication is actually working. I'm hot, though. Are you warm? I am quite warm, actually, yes. I wonder if the guards tweaked the ECU earlier. Did you notice? No, sorry. So there is a guard. Guess you should submit a report support ticket. Oh, Richard, you and your tickets. What? You and your tickets? You spent all that energy typing that one the other day about the shower temperature. Did anyone read it? How am I supposed to know? Well, when the next guard, when the guard next came, did he mention it? No, but and have they actually fixed it? Does my hair look washed to you? No, but well then, then you'll have to stay warm. Nah. What? Turn the temperature down. How? I don't know. Use your creativity. You managed to get that photo over to my cell the other day, didn't you? But, Alice, the guards will be monitoring us. We can't just... Oh, yeah, because they really laid the law down after that last stunt. Passing a hall photo across the hall is one thing, but tampering with the ECU? Oh, no! Tampering with the ECU! The Environmental Controls Unit, in case anyone's forgotten. Um, Alice... Surely a guy in prison for dereliction of duty isn't afraid to break a few rules. Alice, that's not fair. I, aw, oh, poor Ickle Richie. Poor Ickle Richie, woo. Fine! Fine, I'll have a think. Wow, you really do bring out the worst in me, you know. Guilty as charged. <laughs> do you ever think about the future? Well, I've got a, a while to think about not a lot now, don't I? Haven't I? Don't say that. Why not? It's true. You don't have to give up on your ambitions. Not on account of this place. Richard, I'm going to be here a while. I'm just about coming to terms with that now. But you will get out. Hell, maybe they'll come up to their senses up there. You should never give up on your dreams. You sound like some m sort of motivational lecture for kids. Sorry, it's just... It's sad to see people give up. Oh, I'm not giving up. I used to think about the future a lot. I'm sure I will again eventually. This is still a lot to take in, though, you know? I think it will- I think it'll take some time to start thinking straight again. That's fair enough. Go on, though. What are your dreams? What are your ambition ambitions? Oh, Richard, really? Are we having this conversation? Yes. Why? What's wrong with it? You don't stop prying, man! Nothing. It's just- I don't know, I guess I'm not in the mood. Let it go. Fair enough, sorry. Me too, it's it's hard to explain. No, no, I'm not pressing. Screw that, no. Another dark secret, huh? Not really, well, kind of. It's more that I'm finding the future kind of scary right now. And even the little ambitions I might have had, well... Let's say I'm trying to let them go for a little bit. I'm not sure I could face them anymore. Suppose I understand. What about you? What are your ambitions? Oh, I suppose that's the thing. I never really had any. You must have. Not really, just... I don't know. To raise a family? 
to look after people, to help people, to do what I thought was right at all times. And you did it, right? Yeah. Seems like a long time now, though. Time to get thinking about your next room to hit then, right? You're suddenly optimistic. Yeah. It's a bit easier when it's someone else. <laughs> so what is it? What? You've given me like 10 seconds to decide my entire future. Well, come on then. Snap to it, man. All right, all right. You have some reprieve, but know this. The next time we're star back staring at each other across this corridor, you better have answers. I think I want to be an astronaut. Or a fireman. <laughs> you sound like Barney. Talk to you in a bit, Alice. Yeah, speak soon. Okay, so I need to figure out how to skits around with this damn thing. What have I got that I did not have before? Um, I've got the cleaning supplies. Um, let's see here. Have I eaten? I have. Bucket. Cleaning? Yeah. Yeah, at some point. I wonder if I could put this duct tape to better use, though. Awesome. I've got some duct tape. Oh, am I going to futz with the system with these board with these? I bet I am. <laughs> Let me get the broom. Come on, broom. Let's stick these bad boys together. I'll need to stick them together, but that's looking very much like a makeshift pole. And stick the duct tape on there. Let's see. There we go. That should hold it. Makeshift pole. Can I hit it? Hmm, let's try this. Whee! Nope, not quite enough. Hmm, no, damn it. Alright. Still isn't long enough to reach. Alice! Alice, you've got cleaning supplies too. Hey, Alice, yeah? This pole I fashioned is too short. I know, I saw. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. It's one step better than the mirror trick the other day, at least, when he tried to show her his TV. Care to lend me a hand, then? And however would I do that? I can't reach through the bars. Alice, I know you have the same cleaning stuff I do. A mop, please. A mop, a mop. Now then, let me see. Do I have a mop? She's enjoying tormenting him. Yes, you have a mop. A mop. A mop! Mop has now stopped sounding like a real thing. Thanks. It's the same thing that you happen if you say fork a lot. Fork, 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 fork. It, starts, it stops sounding like a real word. You started it! Richard, use your grown-up phrases. I'll grow you in a minute. <laughs> they are having fun with each other. You're not great at this banter thing, are you? Alas, not. I have really only bantered with our children and army men. It shows. Well, unfortunately, I cannot provide you with a mop. Fine. A brush? Oh, a brush! Why didn't you just say so? You like winding me up, don't you? That may possibly be true, yes. Okay, one brush coming up. There, can you get this if I throw it across? Are you sure you don't want me to make a contraption out of blankets? I think we'll be fine. There we go. Thank goodness you didn't need a mop. No, you're right. Mop is just a weird sound now. <laughs> A brush. That's it. Right. This should be long enough. Yay! Beep. Beep. Boop. Beep. Boop. Boop. There we go. I'll just turn down this dial and drop your whole contraption. Oops. That's a little bit too low. I think. Let me just knew it. 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 Ah, shit. It's broken. Yep, looks like I'll need to be needing that mop of yours after all. How do you figure? To rebuild the pole! Do you want to maybe count the number of items you had to use to make it and the number of items you are now holding? Oh, I kind of miss being able to pick up all random ra manner of random crap to fashion makeshift devices. Did you manage to affect the ECU? Yeah, yeah I did. I turned it down, just maybe a little too much. How much? Well, it's hard to see from here. As long as it's not right down below zero, then I don't see there's a chance it's right down below zero. I see. 
I'll go ride a support t No support tickets, but we'll be freezing cold. If I'm keeping track of time as well as I think I am, we're doing meal soon. Oh crap, the guards. Richard, you really ought to relax. You're in prison. It's not like you're, you'll, you've come over here and murdered me. You fashioned a pole out of two brushes and a mop, and you're already a prisoner. I'm not sure they'll do much more than shout for a while. I'm suddenly not enjoying today all that much. I'm not built for breaking the rules. <laughs> Remember why you're in here? We both know that's bullshit. It's not bullshit! Fucking Christ, Alex. You don't understand. You don't know. Wow. Jeez, Richard, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. I don't know you're right. I'm sorry. I was just messing with you. No. No, I'm sorry. I just... I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap. It's just that... You don't have to explain, Richard. It's alright. <laughs> I guess we don't know each other as well if we, as we've convinced ourselves. It's fine. We've got plenty of time to learn each other's quirks. Thank you. Listen, I really am sorry. I think I might go, die, li go and lie down for a while. Oh, no, don't go, Richard. I'm sorry I'm upset to you. Let's just not worry about it for right now. There won't be any trouble, I promise. Okay. <laughs> I feel a bit silly now. Sorry again. Let's talk about something else. Good plan! Okay, so, um, any ideas? I don't know. Oh, hey, you never finished telling me the story of how you ended up here, though. Didn't I? No, no, you didn't. Is that really something you want to talk about right now? The next part isn't exactly... cheery. Only if you want to talk about it. Well, if it'll calm you down, I'm sure it will. Alright, so we're going back in. We spent some time just trying to get by. Barney kept asking about his dad, and I was getting to the end of my tether. In the end, I thought, sod it, I'll just take him. Okay, they're definitely British. English? Okay, so we're officially now in Chapter 5. I just had a steam alert pop up. Okay, so, where are we going again, Mummy? To visit Daddy, sweetheart. I told you that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm such a forgetter. <laughs> yes, you are. Alright, so... We're coming from up there, so... I'm excited to see Daddy. No response? That's good, sweetheart. That's good. Saving. Pressing onwards. Down, down, down. <laughs> da 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 What are you? A shoe. There's a shoe over there. Crunch, 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 crunch. crunch. Ooh, look, Barney, there's a shoe on the ground. Can I wear it? I don't think that's a good idea, sweetheart. It's too big for you tonight right now. Plus, someone might come looking for it. Aww. Besides, it's frozen solid. Come on, let's just leave it where it is. Oh, dear. That's a grave. Oh, I guess we know what's happened with his father. Whew. Okay. Satchel. Oh, hey. Bag. And we've got some flowers, too. I'm guessing we're gonna need those, since we're apparently visiting the father at his grave. I think there might be something in it. Let's have a look. It's someone's diary. I suppose it's okay to read it. 12th of March. Lisa and I went foraging for food today. There's still some land that isn't caked with snow and ice. Can you believe that? We found some berries. We aren't sure. We aren't weren't sure whether to eat or whether not to eat them, but saw that we were hungry. We're still here, so that can only be a good sign, especially for Lucy. It's been a couple of months now since her parents died, and she's dealing with it scarily well. I'm not so sure how she, she does it, especially with everything else she has to put up with. These days, we keep all the doors and windows blocked up as well as locked, just to make sure. I think it comforts her. Fifteenth of March, three days. There was a brief brief respite in the snow yesterday took me completely by surprise. I woke up, looked out the window, and, for, and there was nothing falling. 
As the minutes ticked on, I foolishly let myself believe it might finally be over, that we might all be able to rebuild and move on with our lives. But no. An hour or so later, it began again, heavier than I've seen in some time. Lucy slept through the whole thing, and I didn't have the tell heart to tell her about it when she woke up. 26th of March, 11 days, almost two weeks after that one. This week has been difficult. We are trying not to burn through our supply of tin food, but we're getting hungry every day, so it's difficult to keep up the willpower. Occasionally, we go out and try to find some extra food, and sometimes we do, but it's so cold that... All we want to do is return to the interior indoors to feel comfortable again. Doesn't help how picky we have to be, either. Lucy remains incredibly strong. Why do you have to be picky? It's quite remarkable. She really, truly is an inspiration. She gets, just gets on with life as if it were the most normal existence ever. I guess things were never all really normal for her. What's up with Lucy? Is she an autistic of some kind? 12th of April. Wow. I've not been writing much recently. Haven't found the strength. Poor Lucy's been looking after me whenever, I had, whenever I've had my darker moments and I feel sorry for her. It's not if she doesn't have her own shit to deal with. I'm trying to properly ration now. It's been too long since the authorities got the last food, food shipment to people. Weeks. We talk about going to the nearest zone. But it's a fair distance, and we need da, 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 da. our strength. And we need our strength. Can we even get in? Lucy says we can. Thanks to we can thanks to her, but I'm not sure. I keep wondering if this will ever end. Sixteenth of April. That was scary. We had a surprise visit last night from someone who we assume from some who we assume was from, was a small group of the polar bears. They didn't say so right, but since they threw a walk rock through the window and tried to smash up our barricades with a baseball bat, it's probably a safe assumption. We hid in Lucy's bedroom. They didn't come in, but they shouted at us from outside. They said they'd be back, that we were being selfish. Why? What right do they have to threaten us? I'm angry and scared. 22nd of April. I went out to find more food on my own today. Lucy said she wasn't feeling too well. While I was out, I could have sworn I heard a scream. It just might have been someone else, of course, but I just got this feeling that it was her. When I got back, I asked her about it, but she looked confused and said she had no idea. She did see, say she's feeling a bit better, though, so that's a relief. Or at least the medicine supplies, at least, are still going strong. 23rd of April, I can't believe it. I just can't. Next day. Still in shock. Woke up yesterday, went downstairs, sat around for a while, decided I should wake Lucy up, so I went up to her room and knocked. No answer, but the door was slightly ajar. I went in, and she was gone. Left me a note, said she's heading to the zone. Without me... I'm holding her back. I don't believe it. We talked about this so much. I even encouraged to go her to go. Why leave like this? Increasingly sure this wasn't Lucy's doing. She wouldn't have. She had no reason to vanish. It's been set up, I'm sure. The po it's the Polars or whoever else it was that came by. They had it all planned on positive. Lucy's valuable to them, which means she'll still be alive. That's it. I'm going. Going to face them head on. I'll try to talk to reason with them, but I'll go armed. I'd never met Lucy three months ago, but she came my everything. She can't, they can't get away with taking her from me. And that's the end of it. Whew, okay. We're getting, like, flashes of other people's stories in mix, mixed in with this one. And it's, it's really interesting. They're so pretty, I feel bad for picking them. Then again, I don't have to take them all. There are a few growing. They do brighten up the price, though. Oh, well. Um, Barney. Hi, Mummy. Barney? Hi, Mummy. Hey, look. What's that? That's nothing. Hey, look. There's a sign. Alright. Why did Barney stop following me? I don't know. Come on, Barney. Come here. Can you read this, Barney? It says, Well, aren't warning. warning. Good, what about this one? Po polar? Well done, Polar. And this one? Why are you having him read this? I know that one. It says, Bear. Well done, sweetheart. Bear. And how about this one? Ter t tell. Ter tell. Territory? He's thinking, he's thinking. I don't know that one. It says territory. Do you know what that means? Of course I do. What does it mean? Um, it means this is their land. Alright. Uh -huh. 
I don't know. <laughs> it's somebody's place or the area they live in or own. There are polar bears here. Well, not real polar bears. It's the name of a gang. A gang? Are they scary? Will they make us dead? No. No, they're just a group of silly group of stupid idiots who think they're tougher than everyone else. Are they not tough? Well, only if you can tell if they can tell you're scared. You're not scared, are you? Of course not. I am brave like a lion. Back from the basement. Well, there you go then. Okay, so we need to go up to the grave. Mommy? Yes, yeah, sweetheart? Why did they make a gang? Well, sweetheart, I suppose they all felt scared on their own. When the snow and ice came, it was difficult for people to live the, f li live the lives they were used to. People had to leave their houses and the offices and factories closed down. So some felt, people felt like they needed to be part of a big group to get by. Some people joined churches or moved into big houses with lots of people. Um, apartment complexes, I think, is just what she's talking about. Or mansions. But other people, gangs like the polar bears, decided to band together and be scary towards people. They thought if they peop made people scared enough, they'd give them what they needed to live. But they need to learn that people aren't scared and that there are other ways of getting by. Are they violent? Yes, sweetheart, they can be. But violence is never the answer, you said. Exactly, sweetheart. They need to learn another way to behave. We should go tell them. <laughs> Maybe that's not such a good idea. We'll just try our best to stay out of their way for now, okay? Okay, mummy. All right. Um. Bup, 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 bup. I think this section might actually already almost be over, so I'm gonna push through to the end of it. Alright, come on. Over this way. Over this way. Go to the left. Oh boy. The lion's about to learn that Mufasa's gone. Simba's about to learn that Mufasa's gone. No, this isn't the right grave. Oh! Oh, so apparently there's more than one. Great! Okay, let's figure this out. Alright. Um, that one's got flowers on it, so... No, I'll leave it where it is. Okay, um, what's this over here? Flat football. Is this one? Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. No, this isn't the right grave. Okay, well, what about this one over here? Hmm? This is something that they could have auto-taken me to instead of having me wander around at all these graves. This is a bit depressing. Then again, it is a post-apocalyptic world story, so... <sighs> depressing is the name of the game! Here we go. Shall we put the flowers down, Barney? Okay, mommy, go on then. Okay, so I found her father, the father's grave. Great. Alright, and we started our cutscene music. There we go. Don't they look pretty? Yeah. Does Daddy like flowers? I should think so, sweetheart. Who doesn't? Cause they're, sometimes they're smelly. They smell nice, though, usually. Mummy? Yes, yeah, sweetheart? Why does Daddy live in the ground? Oh... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, sweetie, daddy, he... He passed away a couple of years ago now. You were probably too young to remember. Passed away? 
He died, sweetheart. Why did he want to die? Oh, he didn't want to die. Not as far as I know, anyway. He didn't choose to. I sort of remember he went away. Yeah, he did. You said he'd gone to live with his friends. Oh, that sort of is true. Do you see all those other graves? Graves? Little mounds with the crosses and bits of wood next to them. Is that other daddies? Well, yes, some of them were. They were some people that we lived with at the time. Your dad and I, we'd had to leave the house when the weather got really bad. We moved in with some nice families and couples in a really big shelter that is set up for people without homes. Some of the men who were there, they're the men daddy's with now. Why? What happened? Oh, Barney, sweetheart, are you sure you want to talk about this? Yeah, why not? Doesn't it make you sad? No, why, mummy? Does it make you sad? Oh, sometimes, sweetheart. Yeah, it does. I miss your dad very much. But daddy didn't like it when you got sad. Remember? I do remember, sweetheart. Yes. When you got sad, he'd say it made him sad. I know. So don't be sad. What happened to daddy? Well... Him and his friends, him and our friends got into a bit of an argument one time. It was over food. See, this was ne near the start of the food, when people were still used to having enough food. No, when people were used to having enough food. Suddenly, when there wasn't as much to go around, people had to share more. But some people didn't like that. They wanted all the food to themselves. But what happened? Okay, sweetheart, I'm getting to that. Your dad and the others, they went to meet with some men who had stolen some of our food. We were hungry, and we wanted to get it back. We could have still bought food, more food at that stage, but, well, money was tight. We didn't have jobs anymore. And, well, your dad and the others, the men... Silence. Oh, sweetheart, this is difficult for me to talk about. I'm sorry. No, no, sweetie, it's not your fault. You have a right to know. You're a big boy now. Did they get into a fight? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. A bad fight, a gun fight. Did the men have guns? Yeah, they did. Guns make people go dead. Yeah. The guns made your dad go dead, kid. Sorry, little lion. And that's what happened to daddy? I'm sorry, sweetheart. I didn't, I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I just wanted to wait until you were old enough to understand. But you did tell him. Do you think he can hear us? Who? Daddy? Yeah. I don't know, sweetheart. I really don't. Some people talk to the people they miss. They think we're lis they're listening from afar. Do you believe that? I don't know. I think he's listening. Yeah? Yeah! Can we talk to him? Sure, sweetheart. What do you want to say? Um... Daddy, it's me, Barney. He had to think of what he wanted to say. I'm sitting here clicking. It's not doing anything. Is this right, mummy? Sure, go on. Hi, Daddy. I miss you a lot, and I wish you were here, because then you would be on the adventure with us. Mummy misses you a lot, too. I love you lots and lots and lots, and I'm a big boy now, and strong like a lion, and like you. All right. Wow. This game definitely doesn't let up on the punches, ever. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Is that okay, Mummy? It was perfect, sweetheart. Your turn. Oh, Barney, I don't know what to say. Say whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, Mark. It's me, Alice. I guess... I guess I just want to say... I do miss you. Every day. And I'm sorry it had to be the way it was. I'm taking care of Barney. He's growing up so fast. Anyway, I love you. I always will. And I don't know if you can hear me or not, but... Well, I hope you can. Okay. 
Barney staring at his mother. The redheads united. Are you okay, mummy? She's probably crying, kiddo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Whoo! Right. Can we go home now, mummy? Yeah, let's go back. Bye-bye, daddy. All right, well, I'll finish that section. And that's going to be enough for this round of recording. Um, Achievement unlocked. Chapter 6 complete. Flowers to a dead man. Six days since Alice's arrival. Okay, so I just got to get to a stage where I can save it. Come on, come along. Snowfall. <laughs> uh, Richard, yes? How many times have you tried to reach that pole now? Honestly, I've lost count. And have you even come close to getting it? What else do you expect me to do, Alice? I don't know. I, I don't know. I submitted that support certificate like you asked. No reply. I don't think they're listening. No, neither do I. I'm really, really fucking hungry. Yup. And cold. Yup. They'll come eventually, won't they? This is probably some kind of new age punishment, right? They saw us messing with the thermostat, so they thought, Hey, let's fuck them with them a little. Let them stew for a bit. Maybe. Well, okay, guys, if you're listening, I'm out of pills. I'm starving, I'm freezing, and we still don't have any hot water. Enough's enough, yeah? Or there's no security left. Now we wait. <laughs> yeah. I've got to get through their talking. Maybe I'll try sending another support ticket. Haha, <laughs> don't you dare. Now, Alice, don't underestimate the power of support ticket. They've gotten me out of many a life or death jam. The time when the TV broke, the time when they sent me cream cords despite me being allergic, the time the toilet clogged. I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> but seriously. All right, so I've got to talk with him. When we do eventually get out of here, do you think the snow will have melted? I don't know. I'd like to think so. I don't know how long your sentence is. Mine, mine's long enough. If the snow hasn't stopped by the time I get out, there won't be a world to go back to. Well, that's a sobering thought. Still, at least we both got people on the outside waiting for us, right? Can we not talk about this? Every time I think about being stuck here underground for years, I feel like I'm tumbling down a black hole. Sure, I know what you mean. There isn't a day go by when I'm not filled with dread over the prospect of not seeing my daughter again. Heh, <laughs> look at us. A right sorry pair. We're so different, really. And yet... So similar, I know. It's weird how we ended up down here together, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, nothing really, just thinking. Well, it sure is boring when you're cold. I was wondering, actually, about you. Yep. Before all this, what did you do for fun? Like, when you weren't off fighting wars and things? Well, wait, wait, no, let me guess. You weren't hiking, right? Mountain biking, too maybe. Camping, the great outdoors. I bet you can tie every kind of knot and light a fire using sticks. I bet you were in the scouts as a kid. You'd spend your weekends in the mountains, maybe. Fishing, too. I can just picture you with one of those hats on. Did you ever wrestle a bear, Richard? Come on. I was a model railway enthusiast. No, you weren't. Is it so hard to believe? Yes. Well, believe it. Oh, no. Model railway enthusiast. Well, that's cool, I guess. So, like, did you have a big setup? Did you convert a sh your shed into a huge shack like some of those guys do? Well, I, uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, okay, you were right. Hiking, fishing, mountain biking. I've never wrestled a bear, though. Just a couple of very angry raccoons. Oh, man, I liked you better when you were into trains. Well, sorry. I had a train set as a kid, if that was counts. No. Have you ever gotten, have you got enough blankets in there to stay in there until they fix the temperature? If they fix the, fix the temperature. Well, if they don't, then the answer is definitely no. Exactly. So what do we do if that's the case? They'll fix it. Don't you watch the infomercials? This is the safest place on Earth. They're not going to let us freeze to death. But what if? We can't afford to think like that. Hmm. Maybe you should submit another support ticket. Maybe I should. Okay, let's try to fix this. Oh, I didn't get to ask about the other thing. 
All right, well, I'm going to save this here. Got about a half hour for... No, I don't want to save the autosave. I want to save in that slot. Thank you. All right, well, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Raytech signing on out. Have fun.